The reason I'm coming to you today is I'm going to take... See, look at that. That's like a perfect representation of Manic Mark by Stephen Chandler. I'm going to take the Stephen Chandler, Chandler original art and make a frame for it. I have to make a frame for it because I want the, the back to show too. So I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is make a cardboard frame to go around the outside. Why, 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 why cardboard? Why not wood? Yeah. I guess I could make it out of wood. I think I'm going to make it out of cardboard. So anyway, I'm going to make a, a fancy Manic Mark frame to go on this, that, with the little hanging thing so I can hang it on my wall upstairs. Let's fire up the glue gun and go to work. Um, while I'm doing all this, I'm going to be playing, and I put up a, a photograph of the album, one of the albums that Steve gave me, with the portrait. If you haven't followed this thing, it's going to be playing, and maybe I'll play one at the end, too, okay? But I'm going to play one here somewhere. It's literally rebuking the church of this moment. I'm not talking especially about the assemblies of God, but I'm talking about religion as a whole. They are rebuking the church. They are rebuking religion as a whole today. Not necessarily against Christ. I've talked to hundreds of them. I've talked to scores of them today. I talked to a young man a short time ago. Now I've got my framing materials right here. Now I have to figure out how to build my frame so that it won't at all have some rigid, rigidity. To put this here and this here, that won't fit, so I have to put this, that won't fit, so that goes up here. And I looked at him. He was even that's, under the influence of the That's not quite long enough. And we stopped him. We said, um, sir. And he mumbled there almost incoherently. Won't you come with us and go to church tonight? We're having church here. And he was so high on dope, he couldn't understand uh, 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 what we were trying to tell him. He thought as we unloaded, that others did the amplifiers and, and the instruments and, and et cetera, uh, that it was going to be a rock and roll show. That's the thing that came to his mind. And he said, don't the hell? tell me about that. I don't want to Who's been using my gun? I can't go in there. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Did he make this? Did he make this square? Is that square? We tried to tell him this is a gospel meeting. That's not square. Is that me? God's going to be. Did I put that on wrong? How am I gonna fix that? He kept standing there mumbling. I've gotta get a hold of myself. I've gotta settle down. I've got to find a, a, That's a one nice of those girl and marry and have a family and have a home. It's I've box top to things that you can turn in for, Don't send in for some kind of free th I should, I should have cut that off cost. before I... Little by little we leave the power of Jesus Christ. Little by little, we become taken up with our beautiful buildings and our carpeted aisles and our cushioned pews and our beautiful architectural design. And we fill it up with a few people and we meet the budget. And everything goes pretty good and the world's going to hell outside our door. Millions are dying without Almighty God. Oh, neighbor, let me tell you, I still believe today in the hearts of our youth. No matter that their bodies may be dirty. No okay, we're going with the basically... Uh... A white frame because a, like a active frame because Steve's portrait of me is, is subdued the collars are subdued so that gives me a chance to go a little bit a little bit with the frame like to bring out the whites of my eyes and the whites of the antlers by the way, I got a, an idea for the antler hat. I just haven't done it yet. So I'm bringing out the whites of my teeth. I'm bringing out the whites of my teeth here with the border collar. The whites of my eyes, the antlers, and the whites of my teeth. My pearly, pearly whites. If my teeth start to fall out, you'll know I've... I've started doing meth, you know, crank or whatever that stuff's called. Okay. Where are my scissors? Where are my scissors? And I try to get the the directional elements of the Bud Light Lime uh, boxes, uh, you know, pointing to the right, pointing like inward, because part of the sometimes the elements point outwards. And you try to get the collar, the collars to go, you know, different places, because you don't want all the the beer collar to be in one place. You like the beer collar to be other places. 
So that's what I do, is put the beer collar in other places, other than the place that I just put them in. And, and you, don't want the, you don't want them to point outwards, you want them to point inwards. So these, these point inwards, like the bottle, the Bud Light Line bottle points into the art, that means, that's what I mean by pointing inwards. It's got something spilled on it. What did I spill on this? So I'm thinking about uh, putting these uh, beer caps on this thing. Here and here. And here. This is like what this is is what I'm what I'm doing and what I am mixed with the portrait. This is all gluten beer. I'll have to. I'm gonna get some some of those. Cider beers, those hard cider, the apple things. And I'm putting this this little hand right here, this thing I smashed. I think I'm gonna put it up there. Also have this overwhelming urge to to write thank you, thank you down here at the bottom, as a as a way of thanking. Steve. I walked into this house owned by my cousin Jerry Lee. Thank Lewis. you. A room was full of people. My wife was with me. It was some time ago. Jerry Lee said, Jim, I'm so glad that you're here, that you came tonight. He knew I was to come. And this I want you to meet this man that's here. As I said, the room was full of people and I walked in. I hate this crayon! A middle aged gentleman sitting there. And Jerry Lee told me, he said, Jimmy, this is the man that put Elvis Presley. Let's try it this way. This is the man that Colonel Tom Parker Try came this. To. Ah, I like that. The there you go. Con contracts that had ever been offered by Hollywood. This is the man that pulled the strings, that brought the movie moguls together, that brought all the tycoons together that resulted in the, the most lucrative contracts that any actor or actress had ever been granted or given. He said this man owns a big interest in the multi-million dollar Thunderbird Inn in Las Vegas, Nevada. And he said over those green felt gambling <coughs> tables, Colonel Tom Parker and Elvis Presley signed those contracts uh, that made entertainment history. I put some rhinestones down. I'm going to glue them down. I have a red one and a yellow one. Yellow one to counterbalance the beer, the beer bottle. The yellow one goes down here. The rhinestone yellow and beer bottle yellow. So now I am going to put a string on the back so that I can hang this and you can see that I can see the back the back of the thing and the front of the thing now I can see both sides so I haven't covered anything up so that I can look at this and the back is very important to me because it's cuckoo cocoa I'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs and that means something to me to give me an opportunity to witness to these people I said most surely young lady I'll do it and Jerry Lee said sure come come on to the room to the living room we walked into that lovely room with a sparkling waterfall flowing through it sit down to that lovely grand piano and I lingered back just a little bit before I got there I allowed the others to get in and I said, God, if Jimmy Swaggart ever had an ounce of talent, it doesn't really make any difference. And I don't care if these people see it or don't, but I want the anointing of the Holy Spirit to flow through these songs. Well, I guess I better say, I say preacher, you so good. thanks, Stephen. This is, this is a really awesome piece, and I'm really happy to have this. I can't wait to go upstairs. I can't see. What the hell? I don't know what you're looking at. This is... But one thing I know this is this is awesome, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go upstairs and find a home for it. Thanks, Steve. If I ever had a secret, it's the power of the Holy Spirit to perform and operate in this heart and life that will allow Him to what little that it is.